Good morning, good morning, good morning. The Lord has put this word in my heart um, just right now, and I want to give it to you guys. Um, there are many going through many trials and many tribulations, and the Lord is calling us to come to the secret place. He's calling us for encounters. He's calling us for visitations. He's calling us for deliverance. He's calling us for, for change in our lives. The Lord is seeking us. He's seeking us and he wants us to come into the secret place with him and have an encounter with him and spend more time with him. He wants to descontaminate our hearts. He wants to purify us. He wants to sanctify us. He's coming with fire. He's coming with the fire of sanctification. We need to be totally purified. We need to be totally white. He's coming for a white bride, a white that is all dressed in white. Nothing can be inside our hearts that will be hindering this encounter with the groom. We have to, our hearts are to be totally purified. It has to be discontaminated. We have to have go through a process of sanctification. And that process of sanctification can only come and occur in our life when we come from a place of crucifixion there is no other way into his ways there is no other ways into encounters there is no other ways into transformation repentance have to be taking place inside our hearts we have to walk in the same way Jesus Christ walked and he's a God of love he's a God of repentance he's a God of crucifixion he's a God God of forgiveness. He's a God that comes and takes over and change and transforms us from the inside out. But we have to be willing for this. We have to be willing for this. This is a time that we have to be consecrated to him. There is a fire that is coming in into the altars. There is an altar of sacrifice that is being building. And in the altar of sacrifice that is being building, there is a crucifixion taking place. And he's taking us to the lowest of the lowest of the lowest of the cross. Either we come into the that place of sacrifice we come into the place of crucifixion or we will not have an encounter with the king because he's not coming for a church that is contaminated he's not coming for a church that is contaminated he's coming for a church that is sanctified He's coming for a church that is being purified by his fire. He's coming for a church that is being going through the pit of hell. He's going through trial. He's going through, through crisis. And this church is being shaken. And that is the remnant that is being aligning into his will, into his kingdom, into his purpose. And every single one of us that comes to him with our own agenda. I can tell you something, you will stay behind because Christ is looking for a bride that is purified. It's looking for a bride that is totally crucified, is totally dressed in white, not only in the outside, but in the inside. And the Lord knows our hearts. He searched our hearts. And he knows our hearts. So Lord in the name of Jesus. I ask you Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. That today. At the sound of my voice. You come into all of those. Listening to my voice. In the name of Jesus. And you are root out of their soul. Or root out of their hearts. Or root out of their mind. Every stronghold. Every stronghold that is holding them down. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, every root, every root in those souls, every root on the heart, everything that is being contaminated, Lord, bring deliverance. Let your kingdom come upon every single one of them and deliver them from all blindness. Deliver them from all scales in their eyes. Deliver them from every contamination in the tongue. Father, give them a deliverance in the tongue. Crucifixion in the tongue. That tongue has to be totally tied up at the feet of the cross. We cannot, we cannot keep on incinerating with the tongue. That tongue has to come from a place of crucifixion. 
The tongue has to be sanctified. What we speak out of our mouth, our words have to be edifying others. It has to come into the kingdom. It has to come into the word. In the name of Jesus, we have to come from a place of sanctification that we are building. We are building. Jesus is a master builder. He doesn't come to destroy. The only one that come to kill and destroy is the devil. So we have to come from a place of sanctification. We have to be building others around us. We have to be edifying into our life and into others' life in the name of Jesus. Every seed that comes out of our lips is coming into the ground. And we are going to be reaping what we are sowing into this ground. So in the name of Jesus Christ... Father, today, at the sound of my voice, give us a deliverance in the tongue, a deliverance in the soul, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth says, speak what is hidden in our hearts is coming out of our lips in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver all from all wicked ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Take us, Lord, take us into the secret place and deliver us. Give us your fire of repentance so we are all dressing white and we come from a place of crucifixion. There is a crucifixion taking place and let us only the new women in Christ the new men in Christ those are the ones that are arising and they have the nails of the crucifixion in the hearts the nails of the crucifixion in their minds in their tongues in their feet in their hands in the name of Jesus that is only the new creature in Christ the one that has come through those waters in the name of Jesus and that is the one that is arising in Christ with the mind of Christ with the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus with the kingdom of God in us we are taking territory for Jesus Christ and it's only through Christ that we are able to do this in the name of Jesus every spirit of this section every lying spirit father we bind it out of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ we bind and we dismantle all networks of hell in the name of Jesus we dismantle the spirit of Jezebel network in the name of Jesus every spirit of witchcraft network we bind it and we dismantle in the name of Jesus Christ and the scripture says in Galatians 2.20 Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ with who? with Christ it is no longer I who lived that is no me in me that is Jesus that is Jesus that is Jesus there is no wishes there is no ego there is no desires there is no me, myself, and I, my pain, my past, my this, my that. There is none of that junk. That junk is being put at the feet of the cross. And there is a total crucifixion. So the one that is arising in me, the one that is walking in me, the one that is talking in me, the one that is doing what it needs to be done is Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. He says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lived in me. And the lie which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Thank you, Jesus. He says, I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness come through the law, then Christ did die in vain we thank you father for this word father i ask you that you discontaminate us to purify us and sanctify us more that we will walk and we will live totally crucified lord that we will take that cross and walk in that cross lord in the name of jesus help us lord to be ambassadors of your kingdom help us to be trumpets of your kingdom help us lord help us lord empower us lord we have Pour us in our mouth. We have poured us in our mouth. We either speak life or we speak death in the name of Jesus. And the Lord is building a remnant that is pure in, and, 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 and 
cut for him, is being sanctified for him, is being totally white for him, not in the outside, but in the inside. The Lord is seeing the hearts of men and he's raising up a remnant that is totally pure, that is totally sanctified, that is totally crucified in him, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, give us your grace to change completely our ways for your ways and walk totally crucified, as Paul said in Galatians 2.20, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in our life, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, seek him. Seek him more. Seek him more. There is an exchange when we seek him. There is an exchange that is taking place in the, in the secret place. There is an exchange. And it's Christ. It's Christ who comes in us. It's Christ who is in us. It's Christ who walks in us. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. And I seal this word in the blood of the Lamb. And I ask you, Holy Spirit, that you'll be enthroned in every single one of their lives. In the name of of Jesus Christ. Shalom.